Can I do some water? <laughs> oh, I cannot, cannot, cannot. Today we're gonna do the salt threshold challenge. Okay, so what do you usually eat day in, day out? I've been eating a lot of tofu lately. Fast food. I love pizza, pasta, spaghetti. Yeah, I'm trying to work on my diet. I just don't eat salt. Sorry. Home cooked food. I like cooking at home. I like to think I'm pretty healthy, you know? My tolerance level for salty food is like very low. Every time people eat my food, they think it's a little bit tasteless. But I think that they don't know the real taste of food because they eat too much salty food. In my food in general, I don't like too much salt. It causes water retention, so who wants that, right? So so what outside food do you consider it as salty? Salted popcorn. Salted egg, salted chicken egg. and like rice. Mm. You know, shaker fries. Ooh. Shaker fries is damn salty. Yes, it's super salty but it's not good. Japanese food very salty. Huh? Katsu curry. Katsu curry is kind of sweet salty. though. Just because the katsu curry is sweet doesn't mean there's no salt in it. I'm cooking a beef. I will put salt on the grill and then I will roll the beef on the salt. Okay, so now we are going to soak the Q-tip into the solution And then we're going to rub it all out our mouth And see how high or low our threshold is I hope there's nothing disgusting inside here Usually you do it, put this in your ear, right? Cheers! Cheers! It's water, no salt inside And nothing eh? Hey, water la! Some parts of my tongue, I taste salt eh? I don't think there's any salt in there No salt no found salt. in this solution This is just water No, I don't think it's water, it's just <laughs> I'm not sure, I'm going to try again. Why does it taste like a uh, contact lens solution? I taste salt and I reached my salt threshold. I taste water. Will I die enough? Cup number two, let's do it. Hey, this is a good dip eh. Okay, I can taste the salt in this. The threshold means you can actually taste the salt. I already can taste the salt in this. So, so do I. Yeah. I have reached my salt threshold. That's weak, y'all. Level three. Double, only for you. Ah, uh, this definitely has salt. Oh yeah, salt. I definitely can taste the salt here. Too salty already. Really? It's like drinking seawater, guys. It's like... So if you drink this, we're gonna have a heart attack. <laughs> it's okay, but we are at a single heart foundation. <laughs> no. This is not salty at all. It's salty, you weirdo. Apparently, my salt threshold is low. Yours is... Really high. We are at a medium level threshold. This is through the roof! <laughs> so if you cut back your salt intake, mm -hmm. you will lower your risk of hypertension. You tension, but you're very hyper. So if you go higher, we're at risk. Hypertension is basically like high blood pressure, which can lead to heart diseases. Actually, I'm very disappointed. I thought I'd eat very healthy, but... I mean, it's not good for both of us because like, we kind of eat healthier, but our threshold is not like low. Try food that is not laden with so much salt because maybe you'll like it. Things without salt, it tastes much better, more fragrant. All you kids out there, no salt in your food. It's for your heart, it's for your good. You tell your mother, Mommy, lesser salt in my curry. Mommy, stop sweating while cooking. <laughs> What? The recommended salt intake per day is actually only 5 grams or 1 teaspoon. It's less than that, you mean? Oh yeah, less than that, yeah. And all it takes is 3 weeks to get used to consuming less salt. Try substituting your salt for more herbs and spices. So eat more chili padi. More pepper. For more information, visit www.myheart.org.sg or follow Singapore Heart Foundation on Facebook. Hi, Singapore. Oh, there you are.